This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyo, mga kapatid. Na tayo po ngayon ay tumutungtong na sa ikalawang linggo ng apat na linggong Adviento. We continue to prepare the way of the Lord as we have sung. And we open our hearts and we ask the Lord for mercy and compassion. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom Gain us admittance to your company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Isaiah announces the coming of the Davidic Messiah, who will bring peace to the world because he possesses the Spirit of God. Our first reading. A reading from the prophet, from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel 
and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the burr shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den. And the child lay his hand on the other's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord, as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Just as people of old waited patiently for the Savior, so Christians must wait for the return of the Lord Jesus. We must never be lacking in patience and hope. Our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord, you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then, as Christ welcomed you, for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist appeared preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the coming wrath. Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, 
we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the ox lies at the foot of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance. But the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Advent. Tayo po ngayon ay eh, nasa ikalawang linggo na ng pagdiriwang ng Adbiento. Pero alam niyo po itong Adbiento bilang isang pagdiriwang, sabi natin, liturgical season, siguro ito ay popular lang sa loob ng simbahan. Sa labas, people don't care about Advent. Wala pa akong nakitang store kahit na yung aming St. Paul Bookstore na nakalagay ay Advent Sales. Di ba? Wala. Oo. Ganon. Ganon ka-unpopular ang Adviento. We rather would jumpstart and prolong Christmas and short-circuit Advent. Ang ganda nga nung Sinabi po ni Bishop Broderick Pabilio, ang auxiliary bishop ng, of, ng Maynila, sa kanyang written reflection sa Sambuhay Misalet ngayon. Sabi niya, Advent is often eaten up by Christmas. <laughs> Bago pa man tayo makapag-adviento, pumasok na ang Pasko sa marami. Pero alam niyo po, napakahalaga po ng papel na ginagampanan netong liturgical season of Advent. At tayo nga, dalawang kandila ng ating sinindihan, we are in that second week of this season. Kasi unang-una, sa pamagitan po ng mga pinipili na pagbasa ng simbahan sa Advent Sundays, ipinapakita sa atin yung tinatawag natin na spiritual experience na dapat ay maging marka ng pagdiriwang ng Pasko para sa ating mga Kristiyano. Yeah, it's a happy event, but above all, it should be an, a, a, a spiritual experience. No? And Advent, brothers and sisters, is trying to tell us na kung ang pagdiriwang po natin ng Pasko'y magiging isang spiritual experience, we must not prepare only for an event. We are preparing for someone. Amen? We are preparing for a person, a very special person, someone who has been much awaited, huh? our Lord Jesus Christ. Nung nakalaang biyernes, sa gitna ng traffic, I was in a Christmas party of a company doon po sa may Roas Boulevard. And I knew they came prepared for the event. Kasi, iba yung mga suot nila. Pamparty. Nagkikinangan. No? You don't use that when you enter the office every day. Iba? So obvious, they came prepared for an event. But Advent tells us, no, we are preparing for a person. In fact, sa first reading po natin kanina mula sa Prophet Isaiah, who lived around 
500 or 600 years before Christ. Sabi niya, the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon Him. At kanina sa si Ebanghelyo, sabi, prepare the way of the Lord. Him, the Lord. Yan ang sentro ng atin pong pagdiriwang. And we have to be able to above all be much concerned about that. At ano ang good news about Him, about the Lord, about that special someone that we are preparing for in Advent. Sabi po do sa ating gospel reading kanina mula kay St. Matthew, a voice of one crying in the desert. That is a very important statement. The voice of one crying in the desert. Bakit mahalaga po yung statement na yon? In Advent and in Christmas time, we are reminded, this is the good news about Jesus. God breaks His silence. God breaks His silence after 400 years. Kaya para po sa akin itong apat na kandilang ito, hindi lang four weeks yan. Yang apat na kandilang yan reflects the four centuries in the Bible when God did not say anything after the last prophet Malachi. Malachi was the last prophet of the Old Testament. And between him and John the Baptist, there was no prophecy for 400 years. Biro mo yun? How would you feel kung sa bahay nyo walang imikan sa 400 years? Ano kaya? <laughs> ha? Uuwi pa kaya kayo? No? Alam nyo po, mas magali, mas ma-okay pa yung nagbubuliawang kayo eh. Di ba? At least, alam mo, you are not taken for granted. Di ba? Pero kung hindi ka kinibo, ng 400 years. Nako, mangiyak-ngiyak ka siguro. At yun ang nangyari sa tao. 400 years, there was no word from God. Prophecy was silent. And so, ang ganda nung sinabi ni St. John, reflecting on the coming of Jesus, sabi ni St. John, and the word became flesh. And it started with the voice of John the Baptist crying out in the desert. That is the good news of Advent. Do we feel that? Aha. Kaya sinabi ko, spiritual experience. At kanina habang binabasa yung first reading, I was looking for your facial reactions. Ha? Siguro kulang pa kayo sa kape. Ha? Kasi alam nyo, yung first reading kanina, ano malus, ano malus. O, babalikan ko para maramdaman ninyo. Sabi do ni Isaiah, when the sun comes, who has the Spirit of God, sabi niya, what will happen? The wolf shall be a guest of the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with that little child guiding them. The baby shall play in the cobra's den. There shall be no harm or ruin. Hindi ba ano malus yun? Subukan niyo maglagay ng baby sa, t- sa tabi ng cobra. Baka hindi mo pa nailala pag yung baby patay na. Pero ano ang point dito ni Isaiah? Ang point po dito ni Isaiah ito, ang pagdating ni Jesus ay hindi lamang po kinibu tayo ng Diyos. God has finally talked. God has finally broken down His silence. Ang pagdating ni Jesus is the renewal of creation. Because this was creation before sin. Before sin, the cobra can sit down or the baby can sit down with the lion. 
before sin, paradise was harmony. There was no wild animal. Things become wild after sin. The coming of Jesus inaugurates a new time for peace, for harmony. Kaya mga, mga kapatid, alam nyo, kapag ito yung spiritual experience na gustong i-communicate ng Advent para sa atin, I think the most important thing na dapat nating maging bahagi ng Advent celebration should be, it, this must really be a moment of prayer. A time to pray. Kaya nga hukulay violet ang Adviento. Sing kulay ng kwaresma. Ang kwaresma panahon ng pananalangin. Advent must also be a time to pray. To have silence. You cannot pray without silence. You cannot pray without solitude. You cannot pray without space. Sa gitna ng maraming pinagkakaabalahan natin, to have that time for space, for silence, for solitude. I have just come from a pilgrimage to the Middle East. At alam nyo po, ang naging kasama ko para sa pilgrimage na ito ay mga senior citizen. Oh, oh, oh. There were 30 people in my group, 15 couples, no? mga senior citizen. Karamihan po yung mga members the Marriage Encounter Foundation. And uh, of course, we went to Jordan, we went to Israel, and we went to Egypt. I was being asked, Father, ano ang highlight ng pilgrimage para sa iyo? Alam niyo, nung una ho, kapag nagpipilgrimage ako, na-overwhelm ako. Ang dami magagandang puntahan. Yung Calvary, yung sepulcher ng Panginoon, yung Grotto of the Nativity. But this time, after many pilgrimages, and after my third time to climb Mount Sinai, I readily said, Sinai. Sinai. Nung una, ang dating sa akin ng climbing sa Mount Sinai, eh, physical challenge. Kasi, gigising ka ng alas 11, ng gabi, you will climb 7 kilometers uphill, no road, no trails, only big borders of stone to step on in the darkness of the night. Kaya, yung grupo ho namin ng alahati agad eh, 30 kami, ang nag-decide umakyat, 12 lang. Pero sa 12, it ended up, yung iba, nagkamelyo na lang umakyat, tatlo na lang kami natirang naglalakad. Ganon ka-challenging. But for me, it's no longer simply a physical challenge. Para sa akin, it's the highlight of a pilgrimage. Kasi alam nyo, it's the time when you are alone. Walking up the mountain in darkness. At nakikita mo yung silhouette ng napakalalaking granite stones. Wala hong mga kahoy sa, sa Sinai. Puro bato. Oh. It shows the majesty of God. You cannot just but say, Lord, everything is on you. Sa'yo. Nakadepend ako sa'yo kung papaakyatin mo ako. At habang umaakyat kayo, at you catch your breath, <laughs> that's the time when everyone is silent kahit lima, sampu kayong umaakyat. Ang hirap magkwento na ikaw ay hinihingal. It becomes a real moment to pray to the God that Moses met on that mountain. I have always enjoyed it every time I went up Sinai. It's the real time of the pilgrimage. Ganon din po sa Adviento. Advent is not about celebrating. It's about preparing. It's about prayer. May you have the rest of the Advent in prayer. If you do it that way, garantisado ho, sa Pasko, you would know what the spiritual experience of Christmas is. God bless all of us. We now renew our faith, brothers and sisters.
we stand and we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. I, believe I believe the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism. For the forgiveness, forgiveness of, sins. of sins, and I, and I look forward, forward to, the to the resurrection of the dead and the, the life of the world to come. come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that in this time of Advent we may prepare a straight path for the coming of His Son by forsaking sin and choosing good. And we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Church may always choose the path of conversion and renewal and become for the world the sign and sacrament of the Father's mercy. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Hear us. That our government and civic leaders pursue justice and defend the rights of the poor and marginalized. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Hear us. That the Lord protect our country and our people from natural calamities and the evils of corruption, injustice, and terrorism, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. That the sick and infirm, as well as the oppressed, may find support from generous people to improve their lives, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. That our preparation for Christmas be marked by conversion, joy, and the spirit of service, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. God, our Father, hear the prayers of your people. As we prepare for the coming of your Son, grant us true repentance, so that we may become your holy people, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that we, together with our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and you created rightly, all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate the mysteries. On the night he was betrayed and entered, Willingly into his passion he took bread, and giving thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of the church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. Peter and Paul and the blessed apostles, with St. John Paul II and Padre Pio and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Broderick and Luis Antonio, your bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Through you, to your departed brothers and sisters and all who have been pleasing to you at their passing in this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow to the world all that is good. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we gather our prayers and address them now to the Father.
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, be safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now share to one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Dear brethren, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me, Lord, to be separated from you. Amen.
Almighty Father, you have a beautiful message for us on this second Sunday of Advent. After 400 years, you broke your silence. You again opened your word, and your word even became flesh. After 400 years of silence. And beautifully, the prophet Isaiah, loving father, tells us, With that comes healing. The leopard now lies with the kid, the young calf with the young lion, the baby plays at the cobra's den. Ama, kailangan kailangan namin yung ganitong healing sa buhay namin. We are filled with so much pain and bitterness. Sana itong Advent na ito, we hear your word. Break your silence. Not only for us, Lord, but for this country. May the words of the prophet Isaiah happen where the young calf and the young lion browse together, where the baby and the cobra plays together. We pray this kind of healing not only for us, Lord, but for this country. After so many years, may this Advent be a healing Advent, not only for our personal lives, but for the life of our people. We have long lived in confusion and pain. I know, Father, there is nothing impossible. Everything, Father, is your grace. At para sa bawat isa sa amin, Ama, help us to follow your example, to break our own silence, the silence brought by bitterness and pain. Like you, O Father, may we be able to open our hearts and again, speak words of peace and healing to people. May our words be healing words. All this, loving Father, we ask in the name of the Emmanuel whom we celebrate, Jesus, Prince of Peace, Healer of Souls. May this Christmas be truly a peace for all of us. Amen. Let's stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. And this we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads. God cares for you. He cares for you. When the worries and cares of your life seem to block out the rays of His light, never forget, never lose a heart. For He cares for you, for He cares for you. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you, the blessing of the Father and the Son and the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love be with you all the way. Brothers and sisters, let us go in the healing and in the power of the Lord. Thanks be to God.